Hi guys, this is Yash from Unleash the Phones and uh, here is an iPhone 4 with iOS 6.1.3 and in this video I'm just going to, uh, I've just restored this phone for a cousin <clears throat> and I'm going to run you through the first start experience uh, with iOS. So this is the first screen where you're welcome to your iPhone. You slide it to start the configuration process. Choose your English and uh, by default we had the British English selected. I'll switch to US English. Click on next. We choose our country and region and I'll let it be India for now. Choose next. <clears throat> now this is one good thing about iOS. It lets me connect to Wi-Fi before I start with configuring and downloading the data, backup data for the phone. I'll just pause this video while I connect to my Wi-Fi network. Now that I've entered my password, I'll directly join my Wi-Fi network. Click next. It will activate the iPhone with Apple server now. Next, uh, this is something new. It asks if you want to enable location services or disable location services. This is due to all the privacy issues which Apple and had with iOS. Now, the next is setting up of an iPhone. You have three options. You can set it up as a new iPhone. You can restore your data from a previous iCloud backup <clears throat> or you can restore your data from previous iTunes backup. So if you don't have iTunes, you can now restore your bit, uh, data directly from an iCloud backup. So your phone is as good as the last date uh, when it was say, signed in. I'll just pause this video and I'll sign in to my Apple ID. <clears throat> Once you've entered your Apple ID credentials, you just click next and it will sign you in. Once it's signed in, you accept the terms and conditions. Of course, you're supposed to read it first. Agree. It will now set up the phone using your Apple ID. It does say it will take a few minutes to set up the phone, so I guess we are still on track. And could not sign in, so I'll just pause this video and I'll finish uh, signing into the Apple ID process. Yes, once it signs in to your Apple ID, it gives you an option of your previous backups and you can choose which backup you want to restore your iPhone to. I'll select the last backup which was from 15th May. Click on restore. It will now download all the data from the backup and Let's just see how much time it says it will take. It took me 2-3 uh, minutes before the time remaining uh, gave me a correct estimate and says it will take me around about 25-27 to 27 minutes to restore from the backup. So I'll pause this video and we'll start this video again once the phone is restored from the iCloud backup. I So it just finished restoring the backup from iCloud and the next step without any prompt or confirmation the phone restarted. So I guess it is now setting up the phone using my uh, with my previous state. It has just finished restoring and yeah. So it said that the phone has been restored but it's also giving me a prompt that the f I f this iPhone hasn't been backed up in 7 weeks 
backups happen when the phone is plugged in, logged and connected to Wi-Fi. Which is strange because uh, this is my cousin's phone and I know for sure that it has been plugged in while being logged and it was also connected to the Wi-Fi for a very long time. I'll, still, I'll give this okay. Restoring from backup. Your iPhone has been restored. So there you go. This was the first start experience for an iPhone 4 running iOS 6.1.3 after being restored using an iCloud backup.